Hi, uh, I'm going to read you this story, but I'm warning you before I do, it's a silly story. So if you don't like silly stories, you might want to look away because it's pretty silly. I'm going to give you one last chance. You sure you want to see a silly story? Okay. This is called, I'm bored. And you want to know who wrote it? Me. I wrote this book. And my good friend Debbie drew all the pictures. I'm bored. So it starts with a little girl and she's laying on the ground and she says, I'm bored. Bored. Blah. I'm so bored. And she's so bored, she puts her head against the wall and just sits there. And then she sees something. Hey, a potato. A potato? What am I supposed to do with a potato? And she throws it up in the air because what are you supposed to do with a potato? And then, bonk, it hits her in the head. Ow! And she looks at the potato. And then the potato talks. And the potato says, I'm bored. And the little girl says, you want to do something? And the potato says, sure. What do you like to do? I don't know. I like flamingos. And the little girl says, there are no flamingos around here. And the potato says, well, that's disappointing. I'm bored. How can a potato be bored? Because I have to hang out with a kid. Kids are boring. What are you talking about? Kids are fun. And the potato says, prove it. Well, now she has to prove it. And here's some things the kids can do. We can turn cartwheels and skip, boring, boring, or spin around in circles until we get so dizzy, we almost throw up. Boring. The potato is not impressed with this little girl. Kids can play games and do ninja kicks and walk on our hands. Boring, boring, boring. You know what else? Kids can imagine stuff. What kind of stuff? Like this, see? And now she's pretending she's a ballerina. Now I'm a famous ballerina, she says. And the potato says, boring. And then she says, no, I'm a lion tamer with the most ferocious lion in the world. Boring. Oh yeah? Well now I'm a fairy princess with my own castle and dragons and unicorns and stuff. And the potato says, snoring. Kids can swing. Boring. Kids can jump. Boring. Kids can fly, and she's way out in outer space, and the potato's back on Earth and says, boring. Kids can do anything. And here she's pretending to be a mountain climber, and the potato says, boring, and a scientist, and the potato says, boring, and a rock singer, and the potato says, boring, and a pilot, and the potato, or oh, a pirate, and the potato says, boring, 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 boring. And now, the little girl dresses up like a potato. And the potato says, boring. And now she's really fed up. She says, how can you possibly think kids are boring when we can do all this cool stuff and think all these amazing thoughts and be anything we want to be? I'd rather be a kid than a potato any day. And she storms off, she's so mad. And the potato watches her go. And then look who shows up. A flamingo. And the potato says, hey, a flamingo. Now we can finally have some fun. And the, and the flamingo says, I'm bored. 
And that is the end of I'm Bored. Thank you all so much for listening. Hi, I'm Debbie Ridpath-Owey, and I am the illustrator of I'm Bored. I also illustrated the other two books in this series, which are I'm Sad and I'm Worried from Simon & Schuster. So now I am going to show you how to draw emotional potatoes. So the first thing I do is draw a lot of circles. They don't have to be perfect. They could be all different shapes. I do this a lot, actually. They don't have to be potatoes, but why not? Because I like, I really like practicing different emotions. Sometimes, can you see that? Not really. I go like this, flat potatoes. So sometimes, and this is the absolute truth, I will take a mirror and I will, as I'm illustrating, I'm trying to capture an emotion. I will make really strange faces in the mirror and then try to put that on paper. So, in fact, feel free to pause this, go get a mirror, or go to your mirror and make really, really strange faces and try to remember what you look like and then try to make a potato with that same expression. So, let's see, there's, of course, the bored potato. <laughs> And let's do worried potato. He's worried. Oh, is someone gonna eat me? How about um scared? Oh no, what's going on? Ah. And how about hilarious? He just heard a hilarious joke. Probably one that Michael told, because he's very funny. Let's see, how about mad? <laughs> now, your faces may not ex look exactly like that, and that's okay. When you're having fun with art, there's no such thing as making a mistake. Mm, let's see. I don't know, and sometimes you can even make stuff up, like, I'm gonna close my eyes. That's a very strange expression. You could make up a name for that expression. And you can still see this? Yes. So let's go. I'm not sure what that expression is. Maybe really nervous. You know, nervous because he's kind of flat and he's being squished by this. See, this is like, this is one way that you can brainstorm ideas for your own story. And then once you have a whole bunch of, and some of them can be like very... What's going on? Hmm. Um, you can start adding things to these faces. Let's see. For example, this one. What's that? Rabbit ears. Rabbit ears? What? It's the potato rabbit. You know, the famous potato rabbit. Maybe this one has a little bit of hair. Maybe that's why he's mad. Who put hair on me? I'm a potato. This one. He's laughing and laughing. And maybe... This one has like a clown hat or a party hat. And just add things. Like this one maybe has, can you see that? Yes, you can. Sort of, you know, I'm gonna do this one instead. Here, maybe this one has cat ears and a cat nose. And this was, remember, this is the one I closed my eyes at. You never know what's gonna happen when you accidentally make a mistake. Um, and let's add whiskers and it's a very strange expression on this cat potato and so the next thing I do is I ask questions what is going through this cat potato's mind why is this cat potato looking like this and then maybe he saw something strange maybe he spotted a flamingo and he's suspicious of flamingos make up your own story anyway so I challenge you to come up with your own emotional potatoes or potato cats or potato turtles or whatever you'd like and put emotions on them and make up a story. I would like to see some of your creations. See the link in the description for how to share your art with me. And thank you so much for watching our video and we hope you liked our story. Bye-bye.